What's up, everybody? Thanks for tuning in to another episode of TTG For Real Film Room. Today's featured athlete is cornerback Maurice Claiborne from the Jets. Um, he had a great bounce back year, 45 tackles, 8 pass deflections, 1 interception. He's set to hit the free agent market. He put on some decent film this year based off of his past injury history. Um, I believe he's going to get picked up fairly quick and also get paid for doing it, believe it or not. Let's check the film out, though. Matched up against Cooper at the bottom. Cooper's going to do a five-yard in at a slant angle. Mo does a good job of being patient. And boom, he T-stepped. And get that left hand in there at the perfect time. The back view, you guys could see it a lot better. Check it out. Boop. Just right there in the nick of time. The Jets are running man-to-man -man on the opposite side of Mo Claiborne. Ah, Mo. Um, on Mo's side, they're pretty much running a deep zone. Um, he does a good job of just getting in to break up the pass um, against Landry. Here's the back view so you guys can really see it. Jay Cutler does a good job of stepping up, avoiding the pressure, and look, boop, Mo get that right hand in there. He wanted that pick, but he just couldn't get there at the nigga time. Here, uh, Mo is just a uh, run uh, defender pretty much. Down block, he has to, you know, fill the hole, fill that gap, and he does a good job of getting Fournette down on the ground. Even though it's a shoot string tackle you still got to give credit where credit is due man to man the wide receiver is going to run a banana route or an out route whatever you want to call it mo is keying the quarterback three step drop to determine the route Boop! now he just flips his hip boom breaks down at a 45 degree angle instead of 90 how most dbs do and they get burnt uh but here's the back view of it um kaiser believe it or not boom just a good ball where only the wide receiver can catch it but mo just got his hand in there at the perfect time matched up man to man off cover one um he's pretty much keying the quarterback to the wide receiver the ball is thrown behind him but mo he was at the perfect place at the perfect time he catches the ball and he's trying to make something shake he breaks one tackle he gets to the 20 25 but now he's being smart man this is what you love to see from your dbs that's making the play we're so proud of you let's go to the next clip matched up down here at the top well up there at the top against the patriots um pretty much he does an inch technique uh to play the back shoulder fade um which ends up being a back shoulder comeback he gets his hand in there on that view you can't see but right here you can see tom brady the goat and boop, he just gets his hand in there for a crucial stop. Matched up at the top versus Julio. Julio's gonna run a back shoulder fade. Instead of Claiborne um, keying his hips, he inched off the line, pretty much cheated because he already knew what was coming. And he makes the pass deflection. The back view kind of shows a better view. Uh, this is what you love to see because you coaches do this drill. Back shoulder fade so much is crazy. Down here at the bottom, matched up against Carolina Panthers, speedy receiver Clay. Clay is gonna do um, a fake banana route go. Um, Claiborne was kind of beat but he has that catch up sneaky speed um this is probably his best play of the year besides the interception because he stuck to his technique and trusted um where he was supposed to do and being at the right place at the right time man to man versus cooks cooks is going to do an outside go release he's going to stutter at the 26 yard line to try to get him off but claiborne he's not fooled he does a good job of shooting his boom, shoot that left hand taking the cutoff angle like you're supposed to do um he overextended himself but he has that makeup speed and he gets right there to make the pass break up here's the back view of it so you guys can really see tom brady he throws it um claiborne boom he's supposed to have that pick if he would have had that pick guys he would have had a seventy thousand dollar bonus based off of his incentives guys that's why claiborne is going to bounce back uh well excuse me he did bounce back i believe he's going to go to another team uh that um, let him flourish a little bit better than the jets um although he had a great year for the jets based off of his previous standards this guy is going to break the bank. Well, not break the bank, but he's going to get paid this offseason. He signed the, what was it, five, six million dollar deal. One year, this guy's going to probably get eight. Trust me. TTG for real. Follow me on all of my social media platforms, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and SoundCloud. Peace.